Hello all, I'm recording this video to show you how can you connect an analog sensor to Arduino to make an action. Uh, for this purpose, I use the example of flower pot. Uh, again, it's the best practice would be once the soil become dry, I can send the signal to the pump and the pump can pump the water. So let's get a start. So I move on to Tinkercad.com, then I would log in. Again, there are click on personal account. You can actually use your Hotmail, your Gmail account here. I'm going to use my uh, account that already set it up. So moving on with my password. Okay, when you go to thinkercat.com, there has been a little bit change in the interface. You should click on the design, then you can click on new. I want to create a new circuit. So in the new circuit, obviously I'm going to need an Arduino. So I bring the components into the board. So I'm going to need an Arduino. I'm going to need a breadboard. So let me move this one this way. I'm going to need the LED light because again, the LED light will be once this thing become dry, I can turn on the LED light. Then I'm going to need a resistor. So for every LED light, we use a resistor just to um, the way here. Then I'm going to need a moisture sensor. Just right here. So the moisture sensor here, it has three pins. Every sensor to be operational, it needs electricity. So VCC stands for positive and GSC stands for negative. So first of all, I'm going to connect the 5V on my breadboard to the, sorry, 5V on the Arduino. I'm going to connect this to the positive on the breadboard. You can, you can, you can use the mouse and release it to create connections. So I'm going to connect the G and D to negative. So, so far, I have electricity in the negative rail and the positive rail here. I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to use the red here. I'm going to use the black here just for display. Uh, moisture sensor need electricity. So again, I already brought the electricity to the breadboard. I'm going to just use connect this one to the positive. I'm going to need uh, the, I'm going to change the color of this to red, then the G and D need electricity from the negative. You can see I can put it anywhere you want on this line as we talk in the other video. So I'm going to change the color of G and D to black. So there you go. So, so far, if I turn on the uh, simulation, the sensor will turn on uh, again. The next thing that I want to do, I want to read the signal from the sensor. So uh, this is an analog sensor. Analog sensors, they're going to be connected from A0 to A5, depending on how many sensors I have. I have only one sensor here. So I'm going to draw another line. Again, it's a little bit busy here. But that line would come to, let me just do a break here, maybe. There you go. So I'm going to change the color of this to a green color so you can see it. Now um, the moisture sensor connected to A0. So for my LED lights, depending on the moisture level, I'm going to send the signal to this LED light here. So LED light, the positive leg, which is the longer leg here, the anode leg, I'm going to connect that to, for instance, to pin number three. So let's do number three on the digital, by the way, because this is going to be a digital signal. You go, then the resistor, the other leg of the resistor, I'm going to connect that to the negative. So change the color of this to black, change the color of this to maybe orange, just a different color. So after you can see in my Arduino, the, the, mode, the signal from the analog sensor, that's actually considered an input to the Arduino. And number three is the output. So if I start the simulation, nothing would happen because there is no code on it, right? So I have to write the code. So you click on the code and then change the code to text. That's fine. 
So if I change the code to text, again, you can see here it say pen mode LED built in output. I'm going to use, we're going to use number three as the output. There's a default code here for repeat. I'm going to delete this or you can keep it for now. Then we can make the changes on it. So because I have the analog sensor, I do not know how much the level of it would be. So I'm going to create a serial print. Serial print is a display that can print the number for me. I can check the number for the sensors. Then I can actually make my uh, changes. Again, in Tinkercad, it's not really necessary. But if you are using an actual Arduino, you're going to need that. So I'm going to use the channel 9600. So serial begin. So this is my code. Let me just to make it uh, a little bit larger so you can see it. I make serial.begin 9600. Then in the void loop, you, I can actually, uh, I, I need to read this signal. So I'm going to say int an integer value. Uh, that will be the value for sensor. I'm going to call it val, for instance. Val is equal to analog read anl log read of so I'm going to do analog read of A0. So read the signal from A0 and then put that in the valve, in the value val. Then I can print this one out. So I'm going to put something serial dot um, serial dot print. Then you put ln. This is L. This is not I. Ln of val. So show me the value. So again, how often do you want this to be printed out on your uh, serial printer? I'm going to say, for instance, put a delay of maybe 100 every, maybe less, 50. Every 50 milliseconds, give me a value. Then from here, I can, can write my code. So the default would be, uh, I'm going to say, if the sensor value, if... Again, I call that val, the value for the moisture sensor is less than 900. Again, that's a guess. Then if this is less than 900, make this action. Less than 900, then you make this high. So this is going to be number three. Make pin number three high. Again, I'm not going to need this line. Again, I would need this line, but I'm not going to need the delay. So let me delete the delay because we don't not going to have a delay. Then I can close the bracket here. And otherwise, it's just going to be off. That's it. So based on my code, let me put number three low. So based on my code, I put there that... Um, Again, serial print 9600 in the channel of 9600 going to show me the printout of it. This is the serial print line. Then if the value of less than 900, make the LED high. Otherwise, make the LED low. So let me get it started. Start simulation of this. Okay. It's simulating. As you can see, I, I need to, in order for me to see what's happening, I need to click on the moisture sensor. It has the water level. Right now it's dry. I can make it uh, high, I can make it low. So I can I can play with this as the level. But where I can see this, you can see that in serial monitor. So serial monitor is zero. When I make the changes, the, the max of this goes to 870, uh, 876. So the dry would be less than, in, in this case, again, using this sensor, the dry will be like maybe less than 66. Let me just put less than 70. So if this is less than 70, I'm going to change the 900 to 70. Stop the simulation. Make this 70. Then in this case, I'm going to run the simulation again. So see what's happening. I'm going to bring it high. So when, when, the, when the weather is wet, we have a lot of water. The LED is off. When I change this to a lower value, less than uh, 70, this becomes on. Again, you, would, you, would not, you do not see this is on because of one reason. The resistor I put here could be a high value. When the resistance is high, is 1 kilo ohm. I don't need 1 kilo ohm. I need uh, maybe 200 ohm or 150 ohm. 
that would be again we use 200 230 uh, so 330 something on that range so i will get a better value this time so the resistance i put 200 ohm let's run it so i'm going to check the water level so bring it this way bring it lower it becomes it turns on again it's not really light up lighting up i do not know for what reason Yeah, I make it 100, but that's that's how it works. Now, in this case, in, instead of using an LED light, I could use a pump, right? I could pump the water to the... Um, I can pump the water um, to the flower pot. Thank you for watching this video.